I think contributing to ASPA's PAC is probably one of the most important things that I do, and it's given me enormous opportunities, uh, chances to, to, uh, to interact with congressmen, with senators, with influential power brokers on the Hill. I've been, had the opportunity now to testify to Congress twice in the past 18 months. A lot of that is, the, if not specifically focused on PAC, it's been driven by my, the awareness of my passion that, that is in PAC. Contributing to the PAC really is a, a great way to get involved because it doesn't take a lot of time but it's something that really does make a difference because those PAC contributions allow ASPA to get in front of the people that really can make a difference. It allows us to get in front of whether it's one of the government agencies or someone in Congress and explain if this rule goes through the way you're proposing, this is the real impact it's going to have on XYZ small business. We have the opportunity, being the leading organization in this industry, to shape legislation and to influence legislation. And their ears are open. The DOL, the different legislators, want us to um, um, to give our opinions as an organization and as practitioners. And um, and we can actually. This is an opportunity to change law. You can actually have an effect on law. If you're involved with PAC and you have a real passion for the policy. You can go up to Capitol Hill every two years at our annual meeting. We bring ASPA members in. We give them all the information they need to talk to their congressional representatives. And everybody who does that comes back energized and excited by that experience. And even if you only do that, if you come to one meeting and go to the Hill, I guarantee you, you'll be a big part of the ASPA family. PAC is very important. You may be intimidated by the entire legislative process, but you can participate by making contributions to PAC. PAC provides ASPA with the means of going out there and lobbying for the things that ASPA believes in. If you look at what's happening at DOL, you look at what's happening in the uh, House, and you look at what's happening in the Senate, ASPA's involvement is there in all three of those cases. We're speaking into the regulations, we're speaking into the law. It's an exciting time and a really important time. Contributing to the PAC doesn't necessarily require a large contribution. We're happy to get large contributions, no doubt about it. But part of our PAC uh, mission is to, to demonstrate that we're supported by all of our membership. And so we look very much to get a, a large number of members, even if it is a smaller contribution of $25, $50, or $100. Those are very much welcome, and that makes you a part of the process. It allows me on a grassroots level to get involved in the political aspect of my profession which is not intimidating in any way, shape, or form for me as a member. It's very easy to do. I can do that on, on a level that's affordable for me, yet I have an impact knowing that I'm a part of what ASPA is trying to do on Capitol Hill for my profession. It should be incumbent on all ASPA members to understand and appreciate how important it is to make contributions to the ASPA PAC so that we can continue that kind of work in a way where the ASPA voice is truly heard. I know that there's going to be legislation coming through, I can depend on the ASPA PAC to be there to make sure that that legislation is formed and crafted in a way that's going to keep my job active and keep my company viable. We need to have someone at the forefront to, to advocate on behalf of pension actuaries. ASPA has always done that and so uh, it's, it's a great opportunity for us to have membership in ASPA, have ASPA going to the Hill, talking to congressional representatives about issues that, that Jermaine are, are pertinent to an enrolled actuary as a small business practitioner. If we don't present the views of what is important to this industry, then someone else is going to come on behind us and present an opposing view that could may, uh, eliminate our industry to altogether or eliminate our ability to make sure that we're protecting what is important in this industry. Every ASPA member should contribute to the ASPA Political Action Committee because it's essentially like business insurance. It is what gives all of us as members the opportunity to have a much larger voice on Capitol Hill and to impact change from a legislative and regulatory perspective that none of us as individuals could accomplish on our own. Become a player, become part of your industry, uh, learn. Help other people learn, grow, help other people grow, affect policy by, by trying to do what's right for the participants. Support your job. It, it may not be here. So if you're not supporting the people that are out there fighting for our, our industry, then 
Then what's it, what's it mean to you? I am Adam Posick. I'm Casey Price. I'm Craig Hoffman. I'm Michael Chisholm. I'm Gwen O'Connell. I'm an ERISA attorney. I'm a financial advisor. I'm a pension consultant and director. I'm a QKA. I'm a TPA owner. I'm an ERISA attorney. I've been in this business for over 30 years. I. 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 I am ASPA. 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 I am ASPA.